Hi folks, well, <laughs> not been many videos out as they lately after having the old eyeballs done and everything which went super uh, as it goes um, but I know some of you know I had some problems with my leg and um, I've been backwards and forwards to doctors and hospital I had a procedure uh, this week which didn't work so um, I can hardly walk really very far Round Gardens about as far as it gets so gone's neglected because just that's quite painful what it is I've got a blocked artery in my leg again it happened before I had some stenches put in but I've had problems with this leg for years after breaking knee in all sorts of different ways playing football um, but well, so what's happening um, I've got to go and have a bypass operation which will mean taking a vein out and bypassing the problemed area because it's not life threatening at the moment that's why I'm at home uh, at the moment it's probably not life threatening until they have to cut my leg off that's the point because that's what that's what the other choice is <laughs> losing a leg from the knee down and obviously if the blood stopped flowing then it could be life threatening so yeah I'm in that sort of position at the moment so gardens are a little bit of a mess we have been managing to get stuff out what was planted and what was looked after my potatoes got left a bit longer because when I had my eyes done I couldn't do anything strenuous, strenuous like dig the potatoes out that were in the ground in the vole a 90% of them I think we got about 5 kilos out of well 2 beds and all the rest were just chewed on or absolutely gone which mind you voles are happy aren't they at least somebody got a meal out of them <laughs> but yeah so I thought I'd just let you know what's happening and why there haven't been any videos there will be more videos tomatoes coming on well now eventually I'm getting some ripe tomatoes which makes me happy and the, and the wife obviously but next week next Monday I've got to go down and speak to the surgeon and to the anaesthetist and then they're going to tell me what they're going to do and when it's going to be do, done which I should imagine it'll be quite soon because as I say like, Tuesday I were in hospital and they were trying to clean the actual blockage out and they went it's just not going to happen so they had a little meeting while I was laid there with my tack hanging out because <laughs> they put a pot they have to put a tube down your 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 um, vein your artery not your vein your artery from the top of your, on inside of your thigh inside of your your, your men or lady parts and um, I was laid there on the gurney in the operating theatre with people mooching around and scratching their heads. I think every every female, old and young, had seen my wedding tassel now in that hospital, just in that room. <laughs> but, oh well. <laughs> if it was big and fat, I'd walk around with it hanging out all the time, but unfortunately it's not. So maybe they've got to laugh. But, yes, I'm going to have see what's going to happen. I should imagine I'm going into operation very soon and I don't know how long that's going to lay me up because I've got to take a vein out of my right leg and put it into my left leg to breach the sort of problemed area and hopefully that will cure that um, but while I were there because it's on x-ray and you've got radioactive stuff shooting through your blood so they can see your blood they can see x-ray they can do x-ray of my knee which was smashed and they went oh you're going to need another knee as well oh that'll be something else to look forward to because it's just not look it doesn't look nice but anyway if i don't change you up i'm sure something will but um don't worry about it we're getting there and it's nice to be nice catch you later